Hello and welcome to this installment of Art Bites. This is the second installment. For today, I mainly want to highlight some artists. For the first artist, uh, I found a pretty cool paper craft artist. Let me tell you, for one thing, paper craft is very difficult in my opinion. Anyone who's better with 3D types of art will probably have an easier time and enjoy it a lot more than me. My first ever paper craft and very failed attempt at paper craft was a little uh, Wind Waker Link and he looked absolutely terrifying so he got crumpled up and thrown away <laughs> and so I am very impressed by this artist his name is Ben Millet he completed this paper craft of Howl's Moving Castle from Miyazaki's movie Howl's Moving Castle It took him about 72 hours and over a time span of three weeks. Um, so that's a lot of time and effort put into this thing. And looking at the images of this, you can easily tell, yeah, <laughs> he spent a lot of time and effort, more than I could handle. Another artist I was wanting to highlight today has been all over the internet. So I'm sure a lot of you have already seen him, but still I would love to highlight him just because I love what he's been doing. Um, he's an illustrator. His name is Jed Henry. Lately he's been doing these illustrations of old school and newer game characters um, in a Yukio A style, which is the traditional woodblock prints from Japan. And which, for me, I love traditional type artwork from any of the Asian countries. Um, so it's just really cool to see. and. I know I personally have a ton of fun trying to draw in the style, and so I'm just, I really love his pieces. Definitely be sure to follow him on his Tumblr. Um, that's where he posts all these. And so, if you want to see, be some of the first to see these before they go out on all of these other websites like they have been doing, be sure to follow him. Next artist we have is a mix of cosplay, dancing, and singing. And on top of that, she's pretty young also. And here she is singing and dancing to Kiyari Pamu Pamu's Suke Masukuru. Uh, <laughs> Oh, my friend's pronunciation on that. But anyways, um... <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? I think so. Um, I just couldn't help myself. I started looking all over their YouTube channel and seeing her mom makes her these costumes and she cosplays and sings and dances. Uh, there's a few other videos on their YouTube channel. Uh, some along the line of Kiari Pamu Pamu stuff, like Pon 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 and Candy Candy, and it's all so adorable. I love Kiari Pamu Pamu and just seeing this little girl sing along and dance like Kiari is adorable. 
the channel is Hafu Mim, so be sure to check them out and get your daily dose of cute. And so far I've had one entry for the fan art section. Um, here is the piece from a friend of mine, Mu Chan. She doesn't normally draw humans, so she decided to make a lion version of our mascot, Mochi. Thank you very much, Muchan, and hope to see other artists send in their work. So please send it into the email that I will provide. I've done a few drawings of Mochi Takino myself this past couple weeks. They're both on sketch cards, two of them for now that I'll show you today. And one's just a cute, pretty straightforward portrait of her. And then the other is her in a maid dress and just line art so far. I've been debating to myself how to color her maid dress, and so still not quite sure on that. Um, I'm thinking either traditional maid dress colors, black and white, or that or her yellow and green kind of theme, color theme that we usually have in our normal outfit. I think both could work, but I just don't know what to do yet. So if any of you guys have a suggestion on which one I should choose, um, be sure to comment. Um, that will maybe help me make up my mind on it and be able to show you guys a colored version. Now I'm sure a lot of you have noticed my wig. Um, this is going to be my wig for my Mochi Takuno cosplay. It has a lot of work, as you can tell. There's a lot of hair here, and it's got to be cut down quite a bit. Um, it has a nice little clip-on ponytail, which comes very handy for her hairstyle. So I'm going to be cutting it. I'm also going to be trying the Sharpie way of dyeing it. I, this is a nice mint-colored Sharpie. Hopefully I'll get the color I want, because I couldn't find a wig, at least in the nice style I wanted. Um, well, clearly it's not completely the style I wanted, but I wanted enough room to cut and not be too short. Um, if you guys have any pointers with Sharpie dyeing, please let me know if I should know anything beforehand before trying this. I'm going to try to debut this cosplay at AWA in September. Um, so, yeah, it's creeping up on me, so I'm going to start working on all this soon. I've got a lot of the outfit pieces that I just got to start um, sewing together. So I'm really excited, but also nervous because some of this is stuff I've never done as far as cosplay goes before. So hopefully we'll, I'll be able to figure it all out and get it together by then. Um, well, I think that about sums up everything for today's segment. So thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Mochi nya nya! And overall, it took him seven two hours. And overall, it took him about seven two. And overall, it took him about seven two. And lately, he's been doing these illustrations of. Kairai pamu pamu. Kiari Pamu Pamu's Sukemi Sukema Sukime Sukeru Sukema Sukeru Suke Susu Suke Suka Suka Kiari's 